When I woke up this morning, suddenly popped into my mind a poem that I learned when I was young. And um, I remember my, my Latin teacher in high school. I remember her very well because she carried a, like a stick or a wand with her, a little stick, and she would swish it through the air when we said something that she didn't like and she would wrap it on the our desk if she really didn't like it and she always made me think maybe she'll hit me too <laughs> although that was probably against the school rules <laughs> so anyway one of the things she did besides teaching us latin was to teach us this particular poem and she felt it was so important to us that she she made us memorize it and then recite it every time we came to class. So these days I don't totally remember it, but I do remember how important it is. And it's a poem by William Wordsworth, a very short poem. And it's about, um, it's about how we can get caught up in the day-to-day, in the, -day, the everyday routine of our lives, in, in what we want to get and what we want to have and what we want to do, and how, how these, these activities, like mental activities and like kind of a cage we get ourselves into, can um, prevent us from actually seeing the immense beauty of the natural world. Okay, so I'm not so good, I can recite it by memory, so I'm gonna read it off the internet, and maybe you can read it in my eyeglasses too, because it's reflected there. And it has some big words in it for those of you that are younger. And so, so here it goes. The title is The World is Too Much With Us, and it's by William Wordsworth. The world is too much with us, late and soon. Getting and spending, we lay waste our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours. We have given our hearts away a sordid boon. This sea that bears her bosom to the moon, the wind that will be howling at all hours, and are upgathered now like sleeping flowers, for this, for everything, we are out of tune. It moves us not. Great God, I'd rather be a pagan suckled in a creed outworn. So might I, standing on this pleasant lee, have glimpses that would make me less forlorn, have sight of Proteus rising from the sea, or hear old Triton blow his wreathed horn.